What's up guys, Sean here with Briar Home Buyers. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can stay in your property even after foreclosure. So uh, a little statistic for you guys is that 47% uh, of foreclosed properties are still occupied. So after uh, all the banks have taken back the properties that have foreclosures on them, 47% uh, of those properties are still being lived in uh, typically by the people who lived in before the foreclosure process. Uh, sometimes there are squatters. I don't know if that went into account. So uh, something to realize is that the banks are in business to give out loans. They're not in the business to manage properties. So it's in their best interest to keep people in those houses and focus on getting uh, more people to buy them. Uh, so also something you have to realize is that vacant properties for the banks means that those properties are going to deteriorate and decay and be vandalized. Uh, that's why banks aren't good at managing properties. They can't handle all that. They don't have the bandwidth to handle that. Uh, they're only good at financial stuff. So <clears throat> how to live in the property for free even after foreclosure. Uh, the first one is to just wait it out. Uh, it's usually not a good option, but uh, if you're willing to go for that risk, uh, once you, the property that you live in, that you own, has been foreclosed on, uh, you can stay in the property until the bank uh, is done processing that paperwork and foreclosing on the property. It usually takes a few months, so you at least have a few months of time uh, before they'll come in and tell you to get out of the property. Um, <clears throat> second thing is, uh, you can go to court. Uh, it's a, it's an expensive option. Uh, th usually the only way that you're going to win if you go to court uh, is if the bank has neglected some of the paperwork or the legal process of foreclosing on the property and you actually have a good reason that you should be able to stay in the property. Uh, the third one is cash for keys. So when we own rental properties, uh, we want somebody to get out of the property what we'll do is we'll offer them cash for keys. So, meaning if we have a tenant, instead of going through the eviction process, what we'll do is we'll just say, hey, we'll give you $500 if you just leave the property, cancel your lease and leave it in good condition. Usually people who are about to go through the eviction process don't have good relationships with the landlord and they're most likely willing to do it and that way they can get out of the property and move on. Uh, sometimes they don't do it, but that's a good technique to get tenants out. So you can reverse that and tell the bank that. So the bank's going to have to go through the whole process of paying their employees and their lawyers and all the overhead costs that go with getting uh, somebody living in the property out of it and going through the foreclosure process. Uh, you can present to them that's going to save them a lot of money if they just pay you say $5,000 to leave the property and turn it over to them. That way they don't have to go through the entire process, saves them money, puts a little money in your pocket and allows you to move on more quickly. Uh, you can even rent back the property. Uh, like we said before, the banks aren't in the property management business, they're in the financial business. So them having an empty house that they aren't able to manage does not benefit them. If you are able to go in and live in that property, keep it uh, occupied, that way there's no vandalism, no crime, no squatters, uh, people aren't deteriorating or uh, vandalizing the property, uh, the property is kept up and maintained, uh, that benefits them. That allows them to go and sell the property at a higher price when the time does come that they do find the buyer. So uh, if you want to talk about your options, uh, these are simple ways to get creative when you're facing foreclosure, uh, take these and run with them, guys. Use these as action items and try to make your life a little bit easier through the foreclosure process if you're facing it. Uh, they can help you out tremendously. Um, if you're not able to use these uh, action items and implement them, give us a call. We'd love to talk about what your options are at Briar Home Buyers. Uh, just go fill out a form on our website, the form below, or give us a call and we'd love to talk to you. Thanks, guys.